Saul Bass, Prominent American Graphic Designer of the 20th Century, by Emerson Lindley, Auden Macbeth, Anthony Capra, Katie Byers, and Mari Jones. Design is thinking made visual, Saul Bass. Saul was born May 8, 1920, in the Bronx, New York. He was a son of an Eastern European Jewish immigrants and graduated from Brooklyn College. He moved to Los Angeles in early 40s to pursue graphic design as a commercial artist. Taking up some Hollywood projects, including print work for promotional purposes, Saul Bass and Associates, his own private graphic design firm and label, was established in 1952. Bass created print advertisements for movies including Champion and The Moon is Blue, which was directed by Otto Priminger. Historically, this design is considered pop art. This poster's black background, various font sizes and colors, with a single featured image creates high contrast, which draws the human eye. The balance of this image is to show by centering the large champion title with the small image of the actors. This balance is considered radial. This design is very straightforward and does not include elements of rhythm or any sort of ethical concern. Try to reach for a simple visual phrase that tells you what the picture is all about and evokes the essence of the story, Saul Bass. Based on their previous collaboration, Priminger hired Bass to create the movie poster for his up-and-coming film, Carmen Jones. In 1952, Bass created the Carmen Jones poster, earning him extreme credibility and is considered to be the major break in his career. Bass used his simplistic and highly contrasting strategies to create this poster. By using a main focal point, Carmen, with a background of sheet music and dancers, the theme is evident and portrayed well. Considered pop art, this design incorporates various fonts but minimal colors. The red, yellow, and blue theme is evident in all of Bass's creations. This design has elements of balance and unity. The flow of the design is intriguing, but Carmen still remains in the spotlight. This poster also creates cultural progress. As an African-American woman is the focal point, this was revolutionary and it was prior to the Civil Rights Movement. This bass design represents his style by again including an image with the title. The arm creates contrast from the yellow text and is also eerie, as many of his best designs are. The iconic West Side Story poster, designed by Bass, features his memorable, minimalistic style. Bass often incorporated his images into the actual title of the movie, as seen here. I aim to set up the audience for what's coming. Make them expectant. Saul Bass My initial thoughts about what a title can do was to set mood, and the prime underlying core of the film's story. To express the story in some metaphorical way, I saw the title as a way of conditioning the audience so that when the film actually began, viewers would already have an emotional resonance with it. Saul Bass Bass partnered with Alfred Hitchcock on three of his most well-known films. Bass created the posters and title designs on these films, Vertigo, North by Northwest, and Psycho. For the film Psycho, there was a debate on who actually directed the infamous shower scene. Bass created storyboards that were usually used as a guide to how the scene was shot. Logos are a graphic extension of the internal realities of a company. Saul Bass the second half of Saul Bass's career highlighted the genius of his graphic design in an industry that he considered more profitable than the movie industry. Featured here are popular logos created by Saul Bass. 
His work stretched greatly beyond movie posters. The simplicity and artistic flair of these designs paired to create memorable logos to last decades. Bass stated that trademarks are usually metaphors of one kind or another, and are, in a sense, thinking made visible. This ideology is evident in the way that Bass designed many logos. Similar to other successful designers, the Saul Bass style inspired others in title sequences, graphic design, and corporate logos. Inspired by Bass here is the movie title sequence for Catch Me If You Can. Here is an ad campaign for Allstate Insurance, designed by Leo Burnett out of Chicago. The colors and graphic shapes are representative of Bass's signature style. The font also looks as if it was cut out of paper. The Apple logo was also influenced by Saul Bass's design. That philosophy resonates today in the bare bones of Apple logo, the inviting simplicity of Google's homepage, and the clean, touchscreen titles of Microsoft's Metro redesign for the Windows Phone. This design was created using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. We used Saul's styles of color, red, blue, and yellow, radial balance, font, and variation. Our most featured rift style is how we used our image to create a unity between our title and focal point. The eye symbolizes the word visual, while the mouth symbolizes the word communications, the eerie feeling of his work that evokes a feeling of uneasiness in his viewers was also incorporated.